Hello Aries, this is your December reading for uh, December 2021. Welcome to Blue Flame Integration. My name is Lisa. Kind of keeping it down a little bit. Happy Thanksgiving, by the way. Um, I wanted to get this reading out to you. At least get them started. So I'm going to get your guys' done. I'm going to be going live. Gemini had an amazing um, breakthrough last month. So... Either way, Aries, let's get started. If you'd like a private reading, you can email me at beautifulmind4275 at gmail.com. Everything will be down in the description box. I will be uploading the Lightworker and Starseed reading later on today. Um, I don't know if I want to upload this one because I still owe Gemini first, but I'm at least going to get it recorded. Either way, I love you. All right, let's get started here. Aries, the past position, we have Temperance here, okay? We have Temperance for the King of Swords. And the Eight of Pentacles. I, some of you might be switching out careers. Some of you might have a very authoritarian type of boss too. And or um, very well could be Mayor Sign Sag here in the past. Someone you worked with very well could be coming back around. Someone who's kind of boisterous. I mean, it is in the upright. I take the base all in the upright. But we'll see what comes out with the clarifiers. Yeah. Let's see here. What's going on with this past with temperance? Yeah. Someone might have been numb. Macking on you a little bit at work, too. There's also counterparts here with the right now with the Queen of Swords. So we're going to focus on this past position here. A little couple shuffles here. Yeah. You're in a contract doing something. You're a con contract person. You're contracted out. Like contracted to um, consulting. You're contracted to an agency could have been in the medical medical field as well what I'm seeing here oh yeah someone lost a job someone definitely lost a job it was unfair to it was this was actually your dream job some of you lost it I don't know why why is temperance here give me one on temperance please spirit you want on temperance for my Aries. There's temperance here. Queen of Cups. And Nine of Pentacles. Some of you were just happy. Some of you very much were in this single mode. Walking around like you're single. Mm-hmm. Decided to dip your toe in the emotions and you're like, mm, Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> that feels a little scary. There's a balance coming in with this. Really feel like that's what you were noticing how you've been pretty cold and detached with the King of Swords here. And all focused on work. Remember, Aries, all work and no play <laughs> makes Johnny a doll boy. We don't want to get into that. <laughs> the shining. Some of you have um, spiritual gifts too. Um, a lot. Um, you're very concise in your speech. That very well could be what you do, too. For work, you might speak to large groups of people. Business person. Some of you have the gift of gab. Some of you can schmooze people, too. You can know it. All right. Why is the King of Swords here? For the past. Yeah. Someone also, I feel, has been watching you at work. Spying because of the seven of wands right when I go across here yeah this is all spying and this is somebody block someone might have blocked somebody from watching them too just saying I'll take that one mm -hmm. someone might have been caught drinking on the job let's just put it out there someone was caught overindulging on the job the king of swords someone might have been called in the office someone might have a very bad drinking problem just saying. People didn't know about it. 
I mean, up here, no. Guess what? It's all coming out. You can't hide. Eight and eight. <laughs> Very well could be an air sign that you know things about at work. Very well could go out to their car and just chug a freaking 40 or something. All right, why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Like, this to me is just absolutely chaotic. Three of Swords. Yeah, this is heartbreaking. Going on here. You got your heart broke at a job. Someone was spying on you. And now, I think you're getting your footing back, but you're still pissed off about it a little bit. And you have your guard up. I don't know why I'm hit like subpoenaed to testify for something. Someone was an eyewitness. And you're like, oh shit. I don't want to get involved in this. Here's another work card. King of Pentacles is all about that money. Some of you guys are cut to it too when it comes to your money. There might have been someone who was watching you, but you're going to see this coming in. Someone is going to tell you something that isn't fair, maybe about a boss. It was definitely an air sign, a fire sign, earth sign, in a th third party of work. Just saying. All right, who's this King of Wands right now? I think <laughs> there was some for Love Triangle going on. They all knew about. All right, King of Wands. Nine of Cups in reverse, really. Now the Nine and Nine here. Mm -hmm. I think you guys are realizing this bullshit was not wish fulfillment. Not at all. It wasn't. You're like, I kind of stripped your and, and caused you to become very blocked. You're blocking out other people and other people are blocking out you. If that's the energy you're putting off, it's very guarded. You're like, yeah, bitch, come across though. Like, this Queen of Swords don't freaking play, and neither does the King of Swords. Someone's very cutthroat with their words. And you're like, I wish they fucking would. I do. I wish they would. Come across the threshold once. Mm hmm. Seven of Wands. Why is that in the dead center? This blocking is in the dead center of your spread. You're blocking people. Um, good and bad, I feel. I think that count on one hand do I trust. Count on one hand do I trust. Yeah. Knight of Swords in reverse. Justice. Someone is going to be coming to you. Angel, this is what you're blocking off. This is an air sign that's blocked off from you. This is an air sign that's extremely pissed off at you, Aries. Mm hmm. Oh well. They'll get over it. They will. Knight of Swords. That's, this is the fastest moving knight in the deck, right along with the Knight of, uh, knight of uh, Wands. This one is extreme fast communication. It is in reverse. You very well could be blocking off an air sign. Very well could be a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. All right, Knight of Swords. I want a Queen of Pentacles. You're like, I'm worried about one thing. It's my money. It's my job. It's what I do. And anybody who tries to come in to get you off this throne, you know, Queen of Pentacles, yeah. You're going to freaking Queen of Swords them. I think someone's afraid to come and approach you too, Aries. Someone that may have had a drinking problem in the past. 
put you in a third party, fucked up your job and your work. Yeah. You're single, single and stable here in the recent past. You might be catching wind of this stuff. All right, Queen of Swords. Why is that here? The end. Yeah, you're closing out a cycle. Page of Cups. All right, there's heavy Aquarius here now. Aquarius, Leo. Yeah. Gemini as well. Something. There's a new love offer coming in, Aries. These past little offers, I think, are over. However, I think something's com something is coming back around to present itself. And this very well could be what you're blocking off. You're letting go. You also, somebody might be getting told the truth about a situation. I'm not feeling so hot about that. There's a soulmate connection here though, Aries. You just gotta turn around and grab it. This very well could be with a water sign too. With this page of cups here and a queen of cups right back here. Yeah, you could have very much went so with a Scorpio, with that being on this world card. The eagle. Mm -hmm. There's some fixed signs that you're deucing. All right. This incoming energy now. The future energy coming in. Yo, this isn't going to be easy, Aries. The Ten of Wands is dropping all of the struggle and surrendering to the Creator of what this... Yeah, here you are. You're cool. Four of Wands. Ace of Swords. Who's telling you the truth? The lovers. Mm -hmm. There's something here. Aries, you have to take a, a second glance at. Something brand new is starting. Someone's going to come in and give you the truth about a connection here. Yeah. You're going to start moving forward quickly with your area. Strength. Mm -hmm. You just need to reevaluate what you truly want. I just told the light workers and star seeds in their reading that they really need to um, watch the words that they speak, watch what they say, not bring sadness or, or anxiety to other people, but bring comfort and love. And yeah, Aries, we have a hard time with not just flying off the handle, I know. Especially when people done did us dirty, we don't fucking forgive, we don't fucking forget. Um, that's mostly most Aries. Once you done do us dirty, yeah, we're kind of like, you're out of our life. Wheels turning, with or without you, biatch. Yep. All right, why is the Princess of Swords here for future energy? What's this Princess of Swords here? Something, you're going to be getting some sort of communication, Aries, that might be a little bit disappointing about an earth sign. Yeah, right here in the dead center, Capricorn energy. Someone's blocked off from you, or you block somebody else off. Now someone's spying on you. It's like, what is wrong with these people? Princess of Swords. Yeah, there's an earth sign that's getting ousted. I see. There's some conflict, big time conflict, about to start and erupt. Princess of Swords, five and five. Some of you are seeing a lot of fives too. Maybe five, 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 five. Yep. You're seeing synchronicities off, off the chain. Yo, there very well could be um, a huge fight. Oh, a king of swords. Yeah, because somebody would, has been lying to themselves. This is you. Take it in the way it goes. Whoever's watching this, whether it's cross watchers, take it however it goes. Someone's been manipulative. Someone's been a liar. Someone's been stalking and spying. And you're going to catch them. I feel. Yep. Be careful, Aries. 
Don't get yourself into something that's going to get you in trouble with the law. I say you focus on yourself. And this person is not another burden right here. But, I mean, five of cups. You're going to find out something. Someone's going to come to you, send you a message. You're going to be able to voice your opinion. You don't know this is coming in. Someone, you might say something and speak something to somebody that is really going to upset them. At the least. Now the Queen of Swords is in reverse. <laughs> Queen of Swords is here. Mm -hmm. Definitely dealing with an air sign. There's something that's going to be exposed to an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Cancer is here too. There could be a Cancer as well. Cancer Pisces. That just kind of wants to argue and fight. They very well could be newly single or recently single. Some of them have a major own. This very well could have been that third party at work. Just saying. Five of Cups. Three of Wands. That's what I've been taking inventory. I see exactly what's going on around this bitch. Mm -hmm. More Wands. This is all your energy. I think it's just stable. Like, want the stability in your life. And some of you are here's nice. Checking it twice. Gotta find out who's been naughty or nice. Yeah. I think... This is you or them watching. What you find might not make you so happy. Oh, and the Page of Pentacles. Another page. Page, page, yeah. High Priestess in reverse. Um, make sure you're using your intuition here. Somebody be, could be coming in just to... Um, Dead Carmio. There's something that somebody isn't telling you. Or they're having a hard time expressing themselves. Very well could be an earth sign. They're very closed off. Very. They're more logical in their thinking. You very well could be getting more logical too. Um, with how you're moving throughout the month of December. Why is the King of Pentacles here for Aries? Why is the King of Pentacles here? Why is the King of Pentacles here? Strength in reverse. Bottom of the deck? Yeah. Some of you feel trapped and stuck. You don't feel like you have the strength to maintain what you're doing. Don't burn yourself out and, and get stagnant. I'm so tired. I understand. There's a major ending here with a third party. Could have been with the Leo, Taurus, very much so. The Taurus, the King of, yeah. There was a work situation that definitely ended for you. Um, there's a possibility of a relationship that ended for you. You put the clinks to it. You very well could be closed off from this earth sign. Like you just don't have the strength to freaking deal with them no more. They're annoying you. And they're childish. Okay? I'm going to put it out there like that. I want one more for the King of Pentacles in the Strength card. Please. I appreciate it. Thank you. Scorpio in the building. All right. Yeah, there was Ten of Wands, Six of Pentacles. Be like, I want something that's fair, honest, mutual, back and forth, banter. Not groveling on my knees for somebody to care. Yeah, some of you are emotionally getting emotionally stable at this time. You, I think this is this big surrender that you needed to do. You need to crawl up on your throne and sit there and say, "Look, bitches, I ain't going nowhere." This very well could be the opposition to Uranus and Scorpio. Some of you are dealing with the Scorpio. Some of you might have a Scorpio coming back in. 
if you were dealing with one. Some of you are dealing with an earth sign. They very well could have um, Scorpio and Taurus in their big three, right along with Leo. All fixed. And they're all in this card. Yeah, but definitely you cutting off the fixed sign. Definitely. The person gone. Very well could have been somebody you worked with. Somebody who caused drama at work. Someone who had a drinking problem. Someone who didn't know how to freaking communicate. Someone who, um, yeah, kept secrets, started fights, spied on people, acted like a child. You're sitting here on your throne. And you're like, this isn't what I signed up for. Uh-uh. Some of you might have had a hard time speaking this out. I should not be back here doing this anymore. All right. Give me a few more cards for Aries. I want to know what their um, advice is. I'm really feeling it's to let go and surrender. Some of you are like, I never give up. We don't freaking surrender. I'm an Aries, okay? We don't surrender ever, bitches, ever. We will fight to the death, even if it's a struggle. We don't care. We always win. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. You might think you got one up. <laughs> Yep. Good luck trying to get the... Good luck trying to do an Aries dirty. It's funny to watch. We're usually um, ten, steps, 10 steps ahead of you. We already know what's coming down the pipe. However, Aries, I think that your advice is to really keep your um, emotions in check. Stay focused on your tasks and your goals. And if there's anybody trying to come in and throw a wrench in your plans, try and make you feel all bad and sad and stuck, I think you're going to be like, I'm done. Groveling. Yeah. You ain't shit. <laughs> I'm hearing. I want to know. You're blocking any negative energy. Anything that does not fit into your box of wish fulfillment. It's gone. Knight of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, with a seven of... Why are you blocking? I, I know why you're blocking, but... Let's see what the cards have to say. Because this is a cycle that needed to come to an end. Mm -hmm. The Queen of Pentacles, yeah. Dead center. Someone's not communicating. Someone's going to try... Oh, someone's going to try and... Um, like, you've been sabotaged. You were stable back here. Someone sabotaged you. Yeah, Palace of Cups. Someone fucked with your emotions on purpose. Nine of Wands in reverse. Mm hmm Wounded Warrior. Some of you are coming out of this wounded state. You're sitting on your throne. You're not communicating. You're blocking out negative energy. You're getting your emotions in check. Palace of Wands. Ooh. Some of you are definitely connecting with a water sign or a fire sign. Possibly a Leo. Someone who's going to make you happy. Someone who has their own place. You might have your own place. There's healing involved. Bottom of the deck. Really. It's going to require you to leave something in the dust. Here's another five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Leo, Aquarius, heavy. You're dealing with Leo on Aquarius, Aries. That's heavy here. Scorpio, like any fixed element. And I feel like a lot of this is being triggered by the Saturn and Uranus square that's happening. There's a new beginning for you. You... Look, you guys have Chiron in Aries in your sign right now. Your core essence of who you are, of your happy, jovial self. Some of you have the gift of healing just through joy. Just by you being illuminating joy and being happy, it radiates so big. Your aura is huge right now, Aries. Don't blow it on low vibrational fighting and bantering with people 
who are nothing but a pain in the ass. Something better if you surrender and let go and don't harbor the bitterness and anger and say, I'm going to be happy regardless. It doesn't matter. You can lay me out in the cold all the hell you want. We don't give a shit. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> give me a few more for the outcome here. Eight of coins. Look, the universe, if you lost a job, they're working on something better for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this lost place had you in such a state of um, panic and confusion, you were stuck there for a little while. Yeah. Victory. Six of Wands. Wherever you're moving to, wherever you're going, is going to be much more fulfilling for you. It's something that you wanted for a long time. It is. So enjoy this, Aries. There's a whole new life, I feel, that's right on the precipice for you. And something, you just have to drop the burdens. And voila. Incoming, new contract. New start. Stable foundation. You'll be led in all truth. Mm -hmm. Very much could be led in the direction of, yeah, you already know. You know what's up. So, you're to continue being happy and healing and working on that. I know you guys are sick and tired of hearing it. However, Chiron is known as the wounded healer. And it's 8 degrees and 9 degrees in Aries right now. So, if, you have, um, if you're an 8, 9 degree first beacon of Aries, yeah. This is specifically, especially for you. You're dealing with any kind of Chiron stuff because we're being squared by Pluto too. That's transformation. You guys have the power to heal yourself and everybody around you. When they see you grow up, sorry, yeah, you're to grow up. You're working hard on yourself. Continue to do so. Let what falls away fall away. Bad habits, old people, whatever. You guys got this. Mwah. I love you, Aries. If you need a private reading, you can email me at beautifulmind4275 at gmail.com. Everything will be down in the description box. I love you. And yeah, if you're dealing with a Gemini, I'm going to be actually doing a bonus love reading for Gemini. So please feel free to come on and hang out um, while I go live tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I may pull cards at the end of it or I'll start another stream. I actually want to start doing, you know, like three card spread like um readings on live so y'all can see how i roll anyway i love you all you all take care and we will talk soon um i'm not gonna upload this until tomorrow but i'm gonna be working on readings for december so um and gemini got a bonus love reading coming out so if you're dealing with the gemini feel free to come on over um Hit the like, share, subscribe button. Uh, if this re resonates, um, if it doesn't, take what it does and leave the rest. And that is that. I love you, Aries. You're my sign. You're... Help a sister out. <laughs> okay? Gem and I got the bonus love reading this month because they had um, 1.4K views. Yeah. You guys had like 56. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. My sign, support your sister. I love you. Bye.